Now, before you guys get your panties in a bunch and think that I'm just going to take your side or take their side or I'm just going to take a side and just go along with that, I'm not. Just know that I'm not. I'm going to break this thing down. So break this thing down, I don't know, for the hundredth time because some, some of you guys still don't seem to get it. So you have to understand that just because you're not getting the results you want with the ladies, that does not mean it's automatically your fault or it's automatically their fault. It's easy to point fingers at someone. It's always easy to blame things on somebody else than take responsibilities. You, all, you know me. I'm not here to advocate to blame others. I'm not here to advocate none of that. I'm here to advocate to self-improvement, that you need to be self-improving. Self that's, that's what I always talk about, if not every single video of mine. So... If you are doing every single thing you're supposed to be doing as a man and you're still not getting the results from women, then yes, it's not your fault, it's their fault. Sure, I'll give you that. But I, I have yet to meet a man who has done every single thing in his power and his control to change and better his life, to change his life for the better, and he has, he has actually gotten results out of his own life. He has actually leveled up in his own life. He has actually improved his own life and still didn't get any results with the ladies. I still have yet to meet that man. And trust me, people, trust me, guys, I have met a lot of people in my lifetime so far. If you guys know somebody like that, who's doing everything in his power he's supposed to be doing and he's already at that level of where he needs to be in terms of success, finances, whatever, and he's still not getting results with the ladies, let me know. I would really, really like to meet that person. Now, yes, you might not be getting the girls you actually desire. No, I'm not telling you that you should be going out and sleeping with fours and sixes and fives. Maybe you like blondes, but you're getting brunettes throwing choosing signals at you. Maybe you like girls who are five foot ten, but instead you're getting five foot four girls. That doesn't mean that 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 five foot girl is not a baddie. That doesn't mean that she's overweight. There's tons of five foot uh, four hot chicks out here, but you're not getting your specific types. Maybe you like a girl who has thirty inch waist, but instead this girl has thirty two inch waist. That doesn't, that, that's not to say she's not a bad chick. She's not hot, right? So as a man, you know, unless you are a celebrity, A-class celebrity or B-class or even C-class celebrity, unless you have fame, don't have these crazy high expectations, fellas. Okay? Because chances are you're not perfect either. Then you're going to start sounding like the, the women when you have these crazy high expectations that, oh yeah, her bra size, her, her boob size needs to be C cup or better. Her rear end needs to be, I don't know, 32 inch wide from left to right. Her uh, height needs to be five foot five. She needs to have blonde hair and, brun and uh, sorry, she needs to have brunette hair and blonde highlights at the end. She needs to have some sort of green eyelashes that she needs to always put on before she comes in. like you know what i'm saying don't keep these high stupid expectations okay if a girl who looks decent like who, if she is a bad she bad looking chick she's a hot girl pretty girl cute girl whatever your definition of hot cute pretty is if she's one of those if she meets that requirement that's the first requirement you ought to meet is looks her looks obviously right then if she's cool to hang out with okay i'll hang out i'll, I'll give her more time than just one night stands Okay, if, then if she, if she can cook and clean for me and shuts up and doesn't nag me, okay, I'll give her more time to hang out with me. You see what I'm going with this? Like, that's a realistic expectations. You're not asking a whole lot at that point, but when you just go off on a tangent of this un list of, of this list of unrealistic expectations, you're no much different than a girl in in today's society, whose expectations are crazy high as well. Like. He has to be six foot, six foot two tall or six feet tall, six figure income, eight inch, you know what, uh, six figure, six pack abs. Like, girl, how many six foot tall guys are out there? I was lucky enough to be six feet tall. So 
So that's why I always say that it's easier said than done. Than done. Like I would never understand the true feeling of what it be, what, what it's like to be a guy who's under six feet because from, especially from firsthand experience, I will never understand that. And that's why I can't talk a whole lot about it. But how many guys are out here who are six feet tall? She's being unrealistic right there. How many guys are making six figure incomes? She, again, she's being unrealistic. How many guys have actually six pack abs? Yeah, you see a lot of them on Instagram. I have six pack, six pack abs, or at least I did at some point a few months ago. I've been putting on some weight, not really putting on some weight, just putting on some skinny fat, if you would call that, because I lost a lot of muscle since quarantine and everything, all the gyms shut down and whatnot. But yeah, how many uh, guys walking around with six pack abs? Girl, you don't even have a six pack abs. Your butt ain't even uh, big enough. Your, your waist ain't even skinny enough. So how are you gonna have these crazy high expectations? So if you wanna have these crazy high expectations, guys, just understand that this is not realistic, not because girls like those are very small in numbers, but also because you are not there yet. You're, who are you to have high expectations like that? If you're not even a celebrity, if, nobody, if you're a nobody in terms of fame, then don't even expect girls who are at the top tier level because you are not at the top, you are not a top tier man yourself. Maybe you are a top five tier man. Maybe you're a top 10 tier man, but you're not the number one tier man. You get the idea? So guys, yeah, if you have your stuff together, let's say you're a butt ugly dude, like you're a two in terms of looks, but your body is a eight or a nine because you have jacked the f out of yourself you're just super jacked six pack abs great jawline broad shoulders big biceps no homo you know i'm just trying to prove a point here so let's say you are that dude and you have tons of cash six figure second seven figure income you don't think you're gonna get the ladies really really and on top of that, let's say that you you know game, you have practiced game because all of these things, getting your body in shape, making more money, learning game, learning women's nature, all of this is in your hand. How you look, your facial look, how ugly or pretty you look, and how tall you are, those are the two things you don't have any control over. I get it, so I'm not gonna hammer on that at all because that's stupid, that's what women do, that's unrealistic. So. That's what women do in a sense, like, you know, whenever you're arguing with a woman or talking to a woman, I don't argue with women at all, but when you're talking to a woman and then she has nothing else to say, and then she's going to start uh, throwing personal attacks at you and shaming languages to uh, direct your thoughts in another direction. That's what she's doing because she knows she's losing the conversation. Now she has to win somehow and now she has to be petty. That's why they do that crap. Like, okay, I'm ugly. I'm, I can't do anything about it. That's just, that's, just how I was, that's just how I was born. I have black hair, brown skin tone. Like, what pill did your mom or dad take to make you look white with blue eyes and blonde hair? I don't think they did any of that. So, you don't have any credit on that. Just understand this thing. Women are born, men are made. You are not born the man you need to, <clears throat> excuse me you need to be you're not born you were not you were not born the man you needed to be that you need to be so you need to work yourself toward that direction and if you're still out here telling me that you don't get the results dude something is not in place yet you're not doing something right don't come at me and say oh dude i'm doing everything right no 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 you're not doing you're not doing everything right Okay, and understand something guys, it takes time. It takes time to build yourself up to that level. I've been weightlifting for four years now consecutively and I'm still not where I want to be. Yeah, for, when I first started four years ago, I look a lot better than that, sure. But it's still nowhere near where I want to be. So it takes time. You have to be patient with it and consistent at it. Be consistently doing what it is that you're wanting to do that you think is worth doing. And then guys, after that, like after you know you're the, you're the, you, you, you have game with the ladies, you dress nice, your body's in check, your finances are in order, and you're still getting 
no choosing signals or you're still getting turned down, girls are still looking at you like you, you have no chance with me. Just because you're ugly, just know that this is a numbers game. Just know that in today's world, in this third wave feminism world, feminist world, this is my last point, by the way. This is this is the other part, other part of the video. This is the other big big point I want to make in this video. Is that is is that just understand in this in this feminist world, especially in the West, women nowadays just don't even live in the same universe as we do. They live in a different world in their mind. They completely live in a second parallel universe. They're not even in this Milky Way galaxy, fellas. Okay. They think that just the sole fact of how they were born, because, sorry, just the sole fact of how they look, which came from birth, again, how you look, you have no control over that. I cannot stress this enough. But they think that just because they look a certain way, just because they have a certain color, hair color, just because they have certain skin tone, means that they deserve a a top 10% man. You don't deserve crap until you put the work in it. Now, yes, women do have an advantage over us in the dating market, especially when from, from the age of 18 to 24, or 25, 26, whatever you want to put it, in her mid-20s. In that time period, yes, they do have an advantage over us. That's when they look the hottest. That's their sexual prime. That's their prime in their body. Their hair is glowing, their skin's glowing, their butt's popping. It's something about being with a younger girl that just turns any man on. So yes, they're winning at that stage. They are the prize at that stage. I'll give them that. But what are they doing in that time? Instead of cashing in that value. They're throwing it down the toilet. It's like winning the lottery and not even knowing it. That's how sad it is when I see that girls out here just trashing their body with alcohol, drugs, you know, different guy every single week or every two, every two days or even every month a different guy. That's 12 guys a year or even every two months a year. That's six guys a year. That's still damaging. That if you multiply six with four times when they're in college, that's twenty-four guys during during their college time. Let's just say even divide that by two. Let's just say twelve guys all together in their college life, which is a very consecutive num uh, conservative number. That's twelve. That that's twelve. That's twelve guys. That's still a whole a big number for a girl, fellas, because she's supposed to cash in this value that she will never have for the rest of her life. Now, yeah, you can sit here and say that men hit the wall too. Because for men, our biological prime is also from 18 to, to mid-20s, right? That's just anybody's biological prime. This is when we hit our peak biological prime, right? But our biology, our looks, is not the only thing we have to offer to a woman. That turns women on. Yeah, they might say that, oh, I, oh, I have my college degree I can offer to him. But that doesn't turn him on. When have you heard a girl? Uh, when have you heard a boy, a, a dude having a bone, getting a boner, just because she has a degree in, in in physics? Like who cares? I don't give a crap. It's how you look. There's tons of ugly chicks in my engineering class. Nobody even looks twice out their way. But they think they're hot stuff just because they're in engineering. Nobody cares. So. Just understand that, yes, they are the prize at that, at that time, but they're just wasting it down the toilet. So don't feel bad about yourself on that, okay? And be, at that time is your biological prime time as well. So you need to be in the gym consistently, building your body up. That's the time that your body is going to recover the, fat, the, uh, the quickest. So yes, you need to, and, and, and you can grow muscle really way faster than you would if you're in your mid-30s because of high testosterone and other, other good hormones going on in your body and high recovery time. Sorry, L less recovery time. Guys, just know that they're, they, they don't even, like, they don't understand reality. Women in today's world don't understand reality. So don't feel sorry about yourself. If you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing and you're still not getting the results you want, maybe going monk for a little bit 
might, might, might be an option you want to consider. Or maybe paying for it, just outright just pay for it, those girls who, 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 whose primary job is doing that, maybe calling them up might be another option. Nothing shame, nothing shameful about that. Because if you think about it, you're paying. Every relationship is transactional. Coach Greg Adams talks about it all the time. If you're not paying with your money outright, you're going to pay it at the back end. You're going to pay it later. If you don't pay with your money, you're going to pay with your time. You're going to pay with your energy. When you're gaming her, when you're seducing her, that's taking your energy out of you. That's a different level of energy that you're giving to her. So you're always going to pay with something. And guys don't seem to understand the value of energy. Fellas, do you have any idea how powerful energy is? How much more powerful energy is than money? Energy creates money. Money doesn't create necessarily energy. That's why all these successful men, they were successful way before their bank account took off. Because they were successful up here. This was set for them. They were moving in a different level. They had a different type of energy coming off of them. When you become that, that guy, when you become successful at, at, with your finances, you know that you did not become mentally successful only at that time. That was 10 years ago. For all my successful brothers out here who's watching it, you know what I'm talking about. So guys, and again, as I said, if you're doing every single thing in your power, to make more money, to be the best version of your, of the, be the ver, best version of yourself, etc., etc. I I have yet to meet a man who is not getting lucky with the ladies. So guys, I hope this video made sense. But I mean, there's always that case, you know. There's always a case where the guy is super shy, super awkward. He's successful, very successful, but super shy, super awkward. And he has everything else going on for himself. And yeah, you can still, maybe there's a guy somewhere in the world. There's 7 billion people. So I wouldn't be surprised. It's not impossible for a guy like that to exist who have all his stuff together except game. And he just doesn't have the mouthpiece and he's not getting lucky with the ladies. Or even let's say he, he is charismatic with the ladies and still not getting results with the ladies, okay? I don't want to completely say that no, there's nobody out there like that. I just haven't met anyone. That's all I'm saying. But there's 7 billion people on this planet. So there's, is there a possibility of a guy existing like that? Sure. But that's like one in a thousand, one in a million probably. So, fellas, don't feel sorry about yourself. Just just know that if, 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 if you're that guy, if you're that one in a million guy, just know that at that point it's not your fault. Because you're doing everything in your power. Just know that you just live in a bad time right now. The time that you're born in, the time that you're going through right now, it's a bad time, fellas. These women are walking on cloud on, on, on cloud nine. They think just because they get a few hundred likes on their Instagram pictures, they deserve everything. They're Queen Victoria. They're Victoria's Secrets models. That's what they think, fellas. And I deserve a good man. I deserve you don't deserve crap. Get the hell get out of here. And they say that, oh, it's my body, my choice. So they, they're, they're going to go out and party, drink, give their body to random dudes all the time. Have fun is what they call it. Have the college experience is what they call it. And you're just another number in their phone. You're just another statistic on the dot. That's what they look at you as. Do you have to be that? No, absolutely not. You can turn your life around. You can become so rich that people start making videos about you. Sure. So, but in reality, just know that that's just the cruel time. That's just the harsh time that we're living in. Guys, I hope this video made sense. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video to your friends. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.